I want to go to Paul Mangiavelli right now, uh, the legendary restaurant brand's chairman and CEO, Bennigan's chairman and CEO. The only thing that bugs me about Paul, I mentioned it again and again, is he runs this restaurant empire. He's not a pound overweight. Um, but I still like him because <laughs> he's still an expert, and I rely on that expertise. Paul, it's always good seeing you, and, and thank you. Uh, but you're worried about your industry right now, and uh, that, that it, you, you know, you could, you could end up seeing a situation worse than what you were dealing with and your industry was dealing with last year, right? Well, first of all, Neil, it's great to see you and Gasparino and I have a, have a workout challenge going back and forth. So uh, we'll see what happens in next year. But you're absolutely <laughs> right. It's, it's deja vu all over again. Uh, you know how much I love my brands and they're iconic and they've been around for 50 years and we've been fighting a good fight. As all other business owners, especially in the small business, as the woman uh, very correctly pointed out, that we are the fabric, the engine that drives the economy. And yet we get absolutely no help from Joe Biden and his administration. The only help we got was from the Trump administration. So let me give you an example. I mean, um, you, you know, Biden keeps talking about paying your fair share from a tax standpoint. Well, I think we, in, in our small business, and especially in the restaurant industry, would like to have them pay their fair share back into this industry through the programs that were funded by the SBA. There were a couple like the uh, employee retention credit, as an example. We just had that not only canceled, it was supposed to come out through the, the, the balance of the year, but it was clawed back until September of this year, meaning that we are now writing checks to the government. Crazy. Hmm. Uh, the, the small business um, uh, where it was being funded through the restaurant revitalization program canceled. They ran out of money. How could that happen? There was a uh, economic injury disaster loan that was available. It disappeared. You can't get a hold of anybody. You can't get any status. Where's the PPP? I mean, we're no better off than we were at the beginning of the pandemic now. And you can see the writing on the wall. And look, there's always going to be optimism because we always see the glass is half full. But can we get a little bit of help from Biden and his, and his administration? I'm just beginning to wonder whether the help would be what you want. I mean, because right now you're dealing with local and state governments across the country that are also clamping down in the New York metropolitan area, you know, requiring vaccination proof from those who go into the restaurants and it's up to the restaurants to do it not the government, um, and they will be penalized if they don't do it. Uh, so I'm just wondering whether this goes right into the new year and, and, and that restaurants, which really have taken a disproportionate hit uh, on this virus, will continue that, because nothing, certainly out of Washington, is going to change. You know, we're always the first to get hit when something like this occurs, and it's been almost two years now. And so, yeah, wow. we adjusted... Our schedules. We look for labor where we can get it. But why is the government paying people to stay home? We should. They should provide a, a, and the states, for that matter, as you correctly pointed out, should provide an incentive for people to go back to work. Uh, the inflationary, the interest rates, all these aspects are having a deleterious effect on our business, and we need some help not only from the state but certainly for, for, from the federal government. You know, look, Biden's been in politics for over 40 years, and he's always followed. The, the, the democratic policy. It's now time for him to lead, and we need some leadership more down than ever. Let me get your sense of what you're seeing in your restaurants. So when I go into to many, I, I notice that, you know, you, you might wait a little longer for your food. I, you know, there's a shortage of workers. I think most Americans are quite understanding about that. But I do wonder about Americans hearing about the Omicron spread here, think twice about going to any public setting, including restaurants. Do you worry about that? No, absolutely. Um, as, as this panic is, is being generated throughout the country now, um, even though we've, we've already read the science that is not as acute as the Delta or the original coronavirus, people have changed their eating habits, their buying habits, and they're staying home. Yeah. So, of course, we've deployed the, you know, the curbside pickup um, avenues. We, we have signed a deal with Reef Kitchens, and we're doing delivery. But that's just to stay afloat. 
that's not a major source of income for us. It's really, look, everybody wants to socialize. I mean, you know the, your, your, the world famous Monte Cristo is your favorite sandwich, and I like to serve it to you in our <laughs> restaurant. But if you feel leery about coming in and you don't want to socialize, especially now like uh, the travesty that de Blasio did with the, with the, you know, the overreach with the vaccination cards, he's killing the businesses and the very people that not only put him in office, um, but he's killing the engine that, that, that drives New York City. It's, it's a shame, and it's obviously yeah. being spread throughout the country, and for that matter, for the world right now. It is wild. He's got another what, week plus to go. We'll see what happens after that. Uh, Paul Nangiavelli, thank you very, very much. Have a Merry Christmas, my friend. Let me know this workout <laughs> regimen goes between you and Gaspar. I might join you, or at least drive next to you as you're, as you're doing it. Um, well, great you're seeing you. You're always welcome. As always. You're o uh, yeah, always welcome. I'm that would be sad. Friend. I'd, be the, I'd be the weak link there. Thank you, Bo. Have a great one.